Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to level up, gain coins and reach 100% collection fast on MadFit21. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned to learn a thing or two. Before we do start this video though, um, only 33.9% of you guys are subscribed. So if you do actually enjoy this video, it'll mean a lot if you guys can subscribe and like this video. Again, it's free, so if you ever change your mind, you can unsubscribe. But um, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so um, I got my screen time up from last week and as you can see here, I spent around 12 hours and 6 minutes playing Madfoot. Uh, you can see <laughs> clearly um, near the weekend I didn't really have much time. But on average, I spent around 2 hours a day and uh, there's around like 168 hours in a week. But uh, for example, let's pretend I do sleep 8 hours a day. That's 56 hours of sleep, meaning there's only 112 hours in a week. So I spent around 10% of my week playing Madfoot. And uh, just from that, um, I've already hit 90%. As you can clearly see from the start of my video, I've even hit over um, level 40. And I've got over 10 mil. And uh, I like to usually spend a lot of those coins on lightning rounds. So definitely, it will definitely help a lot, depending on how much you do spend time on the game like on this game uh you just got to grind the game a lot and obviously with the with trading coming very soon you'll definitely hit 100 percent um really easy but uh let's get straight into the first point all right so the first thing you do need to know is that you need to try and do everything um that's not repeatable before you start doing the repeatable things and what i mean by that is like doing the achievements because obviously you can't do them again um so as you can see here the draft of the days and the pack of the days are very nice. You just have to do 10 of them. And uh, in case you guys do want to do it quicker, I made a video about how you can do a time glitch. And you can do all 10 of them really easily. So definitely watch that video if you haven't already. I'll put it on the top right if you guys want to. Um, as well as that, there's SBCs that's limited, such as the gold mine and the special pack. The gold mine is really useful, guys. You get 50 of them, so definitely use all of them. As you see, I only done 30 of them because I still got 20 left. You get a gold super pack, 10k, and a silver pack. So that's definitely really nice. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. But uh, again, like I said, draft the days and pack of the days go in every day. And uh, as you can clearly see, I've already completed it and we got some nice rewards and um, you just, I'm just going to be saving up my packs, honestly, for new cards because um, I do know that the UCL cards will be coming very soon. And with the UCL cards, it's pretty much going to be every single rare gold and non-rare gold card coming out again, but as a, you know, the UCL type. So, yeah, just definitely keep that in mind, guys. Um, I can even, in fact, show you that I got a lot saved up from just grinding the game so definitely do that guys all right so the free packs is really important because you want to grind those to mainly get the bronze cards because there's no other way you can get bronze cards so if you want to actually complete the bronze collections you you want to do that i know there is SBCs to get the bronze um players but you do need to put bronze cards in them so again there's no other possible way other than doing the free pack method so definitely do this um while watching netflix or something like that youtube because um again you will be quite bored if you're just focused on opening packs it's not going to be that fun but uh, once you do get enough what you want to do is definitely grind on those sbcs because um again the new rare bronze helps your collection gives you some nice stuff and it actually gives quite a lot of xp so um in fact i'll show you right now me doing them so you can see how well it actually helps your xp and your coins and then your collection because i've got quite a few of bronze cards saving up All right, so I spent around two minutes just doing it. And as you can see, the XP has actually gone up quite a lot. If I sped up the video, you would definitely definitely see the difference of the XP going up. But um, yeah, we're going to move on to the most important thing that can help you with the XP, your coins and your collection. And that's going to be the draft because the draft is actually amazing, especially when you enter in a tournament, especially the harder ones. You get really nice rewards. And uh, those are the things that you mainly get, such as the OP packs and all these picks. And in fact, I'm pretty sure they do give out a lot of these gold super packs. So definitely do those because they are the main ones that can help you get those higher rated cards. Um, such as the, I don't know, maybe like the Pele, Maradona's, Messi. You're not going to pack them out of the free packs or the lower packs. So definitely doing the draft helps. So again, uh, I'm just going to quickly speed up me doing a draft and a, probably a game of tournament and see how well that does.
and uh, that's going to be it. Final time, and we finished second. Thank God we didn't lose, or else we would have actually not made it. But uh, that was pretty nice awards. Um, so we now move on to the knockout stage. Uh, if I go back out, um, we actually did move up a bit in levels. But uh, let's just see. All right, guys. So I just lost this uh, tournament. But uh, that's also a good thing. So I can actually show you guys my rewards to show you what I'm getting, even though... Uh, I'm going to be going out in the round of 16, which is pretty embarrassing. But uh, let's just say what we do get. So we get, obviously, the two gold plus packs. Uh, a gold pack, 25k, just for losing. And uh, just for the round of 16, we leveled up. Whoa, we leveled up. Look at that. That's a lot of XP. Uh, we've got two special packs, 450k, uh, new picks, and then uh, two new picks. And just, it's incredible. So that was just in the um, World Series. And uh, we leveled it up from this. Do you know how much XP that must have been? That was more than halfway through. Jesus Christ. So here, as you can see from the start of the video, we were less than halfway through of level 42. And uh, we did a few SBCs, which helped a lot. You can uh, actually, in fact, I'm going to show you pictures of me just doing SBCs from t for two minutes and what the outcome was just from doing that right now. So that's actually a pretty big jump for just doing bronze SPCs. All I had to do was put five bronze cards in. So I just got to repeat that. And the main thing you guys want to repeat is doing the drafts. I promise you guys it's the best way to do it. It is actually so um, OP doing it. And just doing the tournament, yeah, even though we crashed out really early, um, we leveled up really quick, more than half pretty much, yeah. So... Uh, definitely do that because the tournament now also gives us the pack which can help us with the collections it gives us good coins and uh, pretty much that helps us when training does come out so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video um, it's just some nice advices and it helps you level up a lot quicker so if you guys did enjoy it make sure you do like it and i'll see you guys very soon